I'll be showing 10 new features for Excel. This includes big updates for Excel desktop and some long time requests, as well as core improvements for Excel for the web. So let's get started. The first new feature is a new navigation pane for Excel desktop. I'm here in a spreadsheet and I've got a bunch of different sheets along the bottom and this lets me navigate all my sheets and tables a little more easily. So I'm gonna to go to the view menu here and you'll see this new navigation button. I'll click this. This opens up the navigation pane on the right and every single tab that you see on the bottom is listed right here and I can expand these. So in my inventory one, it has one table and if I click here, it actually will highlight that table. I've got this lots of elements spreadsheet right here. Now if I click this, lots of elements, you'll see all the different elements. And if I click on these, it'll take me to each part of that table. So I'm clicking on this and it jumps me around and I can see all the different elements in here. And I'll close these as well. If I go down here to people graph, I'll open this up and this one actually shows, oh, I had an add-in in here. I'll click here and this is actually the people graph add-in. It's not populated, but if you have add-ins, you can easily find those. And you can also search this navigation table as well. So if there's a certain table name I'm looking for, in this case, the people graph, hey, I search for people and it pulls it right up and I can see what's there. We'll clear this out. And then any of these that you click on, so if I click on my VLOOKUP one here, it'll jump me right to that sheet. So it's a nice way to navigate around a really big spreadsheet. The second new feature is a long time request from Excel desktop users, and that is the ability to search in a dropdown list. So in this case, I've got factory location and I click the dropdown and I've got a whole bunch of cities listed here. Now, instead of trying to sort through all this, now I can just click here and type the first letter. Oh, there's all the T ones. I'm looking for Tokyo. I can quickly get that right by typing in the dropdown list. Another one, I just type H. There's all the H cities. Maybe I'm looking for Hong Kong. Oh, it's really quick now. And I can select that. And the way you find the dropdown list in general, you create them with data validation. On the data tab, you go to data validation and you choose list right here. And then you choose the source. So my source is right down here and I've got a long list. Now, the third new feature is related. Historically, if you had blanks in your list when you were creating your dropdown list, they would show up in the dropdown list, which kind of makes it look ugly. In this case, I've got a bunch of blanks in my cities like you can see, but if I go to the dropdown list and click this, you'll see that there are no blanks showing up in my list. It is nice and clean. The fourth new feature is analyze data improvements in Excel desktop. Analyze data allows you to really quickly have Excel analyze your data. It uses a lot of smarts and machine learning and save you a bunch of time. So I've got a spreadsheet here and on the home tab, way over on the right, there's an analyze data. Now I'll click this. Very quickly, it analyzes everything. So I've got things like discovering insights, fact relocation. Seattle has higher inventory value. Here's a designer feedback, different locations. So all sorts of really interesting insights and I can click any of these to add them. So if I click insert chart, it'll add that chart right there onto my table. Now there's been some big improvements to analyze data that I'm gonna show here. There's some suggested questions right here, but I can ask a question even if I don't have this in table format. So I'll start by asking, what is the total quantity in stock even though this is not in a table format? There you go. And there's the sum, the total quantity in stock. Let's try another one sort by inventory value and check that out. It gives a nice little sort. I can even insert that onto the page. There's a brand new sheet and it's sorted by inventory value. Pretty slick. I'll type where is the lowest reorder value. And I didn't say factory location. I just said where and I hit next and it figures it out. Where means location and it found Seattle, Shanghai and Munich. So that natural language processing for analyzed data makes it even easier to do really cool stuff with Excel. The fifth new feature is conditional formatting improvements in Excel for the web. And this is a big one, especially for those of you who like to create rules with conditional formatting. So I've got my sheet here. I'm gonna select inventory value this set. I'll go to conditional formatting and now there is a manage rules option. We'll click this. It opens up a new pane and you can choose for either managing rules in the selection or in the entire sheet. So if you have a set of rules you wanna to apply to your sheet, you can switch this. I'll leave it at selection and I'll choose plus. So it's gonna apply this to the range F2 to F21. Now, a lot of you are familiar with the desktop set of managing rules. I can have all sorts of options here. So in this case, I have highlight cells. I can choose data bars. So like I can choose this and hit done. And now I've got my data bars. Now, maybe I don't like that. I wanna go edit this. I hover and you'll hit the little edit pencil. And I'm gonna change data bars here. Maybe I want a color scale. Let's look at that. If 
For those of you familiar with Desktop Excel, this looks pretty nice. Now in this case, we'll go back and we'll highlight quantity and stock and I'll go conditional formatting, manage rules. I'll click plus again. And in this case, I'm gonna say for cells that are less than 50, I'm gonna highlight them because I wanna reorder my stock. So I'm gonna hit done and very quickly it highlights those. Now if I go back to manage rules and I choose this sheet, now you'll see the two different rules and I can hover and see each of those rules. And if I wanna delete a rule, I just click the little trash can here and I can delete all my rules or just delete a single rule right here. The sixth new feature is improvements to chart and selecting multiple columns in Excel for the web. It used to be that we didn't support that where desktop you can select multiple columns that are not next to each other. So first I will select this set of cells here and hold down the control key and we're just gonna look at April sales. There we go and now I'm gonna to go to the insert menu and we'll choose a column chart. And there we go, a nice little chart where I've selected columns that are not next to each other. The seventh new feature is big improvements to charting and formatting in Excel for the web. I have my chart here, I'll click it and now I'll click on little context tab chart. Then go over and choose format. This opens up an improved format pane with lots of different options and I can expand these and now I can actually click and edit in real time and see those chart updates. So for example, if I wanna scroll down here and I wanna make my series data color maybe red, there I can see that update in real time. I can make updates to my vertical axis or my horizontal axis. Let's say I wanna make the outline here green. And you see a little slight green update right there. So lots of options to play around with your formatting and watching those updates in real time for the web version of Excel. The eighth new feature is related. We have little switches to turn on chart title and legend and a few other options built in. So if I wanna turn my chart title off, I just click the switch and it disappears. And maybe I wanna get rid of this little legend right here as well. Just click the switch, legend disappears. The ninth new feature is support for undo on different chart updates and elements in Excel for the web. Maybe I've gone through here and I turned off the title and I turned off the legend and I go down here and I made this yellow. Now I decide, you know what? I don't like those updates. So if I go up to the home tab and then click undo, I can undo all these different changes that I was just making. The 10th new feature is opening password protected spreadsheets in Excel for the web. It used to be you could only open them in Excel desktop. So I password protected this spreadsheet here in Excel desktop. Now I'm gonna to click to open it in Excel for the web. Here's the dialogue. I'll enter the password. I'll even show it to people. It's TPS for TPS report. Hit okay. There's my spreadsheet. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.